Confession time. Annette Chairman confessed to British court, claims the election was rigged without him noticing. No be smart in my people. Um, this very uh, torrigious uh, badge in into our studio. Now yesterday uh, broadcast, but um, we decided say we we'll go move them um, to Una this very morning. I see the hot. Um, the you no know, say as the story don't the the very strong. They go. Uh, I next chairman. I ain't can't be the person where then they drag on on the matter. In fact, um, he, he has been tagged to be the architect of the whole show. Yes, of course, that is how it's supposed to be because he is the problem that has um, that has. Uh, been ha that has caused all this that is happening uh, after this uh, uh, election. Everybody is just, you know, pointing fingers at him because if he has not pronounced Tunubu the winner of the election wrongly, you know, and also partake in um, in the election fraud, you know, providing wrong figures for different um, states. Uh, I neck officers, you know, all this wouldn't have happened. All those people they confessed now, they confess. Are we to talk about the one that happened in Enugu? The I neck officer uh, of that very state confessed that uh, the I neck chairman gave him the figure that he pronounced, uh, uh, uh pronounced. That made the uh, the PDP aspirant the winner of the election. In fact, a lot of things happen. No be smart in my brother. Make we uh, enter the uh, the content and get it correctly as it's stated. This is morning news. A coalition of civil society organizations (CSOs) has told the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to explain to Nigerians why the, bi the Biometric Voters Accreditation System, BIVAS, developed fault during the February 25th presidential and National Assembly election. The CSOs also said that the electoral umpire has to justify the sum of $400 billion spent for the conduct of the just concluded general elections. This and many other resolutions were contained in a communique issued after a post election retreat by a coalition of CSOs coordinated by the Global Network for your empowerment and equal justice, led by Chief Chris Okiki. This, as finally, Mr. President has also denied the INEC chairman that he knows nothing about his fraudulent act on the election day. Speaking, Mahmoud Yakubu, he has pleaded for forgiveness as he claimed that, yes, the election was rigged, but in his absence. He claimed that he knows nothing about the, the fraudulent act, but he will do all within his power to fish out the perpetrators. He apologized to Nigerians for all that, that has happened, that it wasn't his mistake, but the mistake of those who actually acted in favor of Mr. President-elect, he claimed. I beg you, not today. Not today will they hear those ones. See, make a tell my people. Um, all this story, 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 story. Now, story where we don't hear the after it, after all the doings and after all the atrocities, you expect the people to accept. Sorry, didn't you hear what Mr. President Momo Bori said? He said that whether Tunubu drug trafficking case is on or not, that he is going to get him inaugurated. That he is going to get him sworn in. So you cannot see the error that you, of your carelessness or 
your intentionally fraudulent act has caught Nigeria. So how are you now going to stop Mr. President Muhammadu Buhari to stop the inauguration? So why, why, why would they want to accept your apology? Let alone me, I will say your apology is not accepted. What you need is a confession from God. Let God himself redeem you, save you. Save you from the hands of Nigerians. Because it is God's intervention that can save you from the hand of Nigerian. Not this confession you are making to them openly. To me, it's not. it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You understand? Because I can remember right there in the collation center, they were trying to call you to order. But you were proving... A headstrong that uh, that the, the the process cannot be stopped that that, that let complaints come when the process is over. Now the process is over, you can see the the, the, the wrongs and the, and the and the confusion and the and the uh, destruction that you're doing has caused. That is the problem of Nigeria. I die know we are always like this. We are always like this, and we are always saying this, which is very wrong. Absolutely wrong. My people, my people, I know they surprise at all for this story we will hear this very morning. I tell you, I know they surprise because it is very, very painful that a whole presidential election, election that was observed by the whole world, eh? Nahim, Nigeria, just mess up like that. And somebody somewhere, they tell us, say, make we. Oh, maybe so. Maybe so. They need to do things like that. They don't do things like that. So, my people, my people, you can see that the whole thing it get, is getting um, opened gradually and we are getting the full gist. Mm -hmm. It's good that way. Okay, um, as you've seen and as you have heard, um, we are gradually achieving our goal. Yes, yes, we are encouraging achieving our goal. So let's quickly um, get your opinion. Let's get your uh, what your ideas. Let's get your uh, good advice on this very um, broadcast that has just been revealed to us this uh, morning. Uh, are we to accept the confession of uh, Mahmoud Yakubo? <laughs> that is one thing. Please don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.